if five to ten years back somebody told me that I would be sitting here today sharing my top five self-help books, I would have never believed that. But for anyone like the past me who has never read self-help books and wants to start on their self-growth journey, this is the right video for you all. I believe that no matter how much amount of knowledge you get from videos and other mediums, books are still the best. And in today's video, I will be sharing those top five books that I keep on rereading and recommending to anyone who wants to start on their self-growth journey. So the first book that I have is this one, Good Wives, Good Life by Wex King. This is actually the first ever non-fiction self-help book that I ever read. And this is where my journey began. Now it says that this is the perfect guide for those who are seeking a way out of darkness and want to live a more beautiful and meaningful life. And this actually is that guide. In this book, Wex King has mainly talked about self-love, self-care and having positive lifestyle habits. So he talks about his own personal experiences to offer practical life tips for you to overcome the negative thoughts and to manifest all your desires into reality. Now, if you have no idea about manifestation, then this is the right book to start with. He has touched upon the topic ever so slightly, not diving super deep, but enough for you to start with. It is a super, super easy and enjoyable read. All in all, I would say that if you're just beginning out with your self-love and self-growth journey, then this is definitely the book that you must start with. The second book is the classic, The Secret. I do not have it, uh, you know, in hard copy right now. I gave it to a friend after I finished reading it twice. That is how much I love that book. That book is actually one of the most popular classic self-help books. And and I believe that anyone into self-help, self-care, those kind of books would absolutely recommend you to read The Secret at least once in your life. It has been a life-changing book to a lot of people, including me. So it dives a lot deeper into the topic of manifestation that we just talked about. The main principle of that book is law of attraction. It teaches you that if you have positive thoughts, if you give out higher vibrations and give out positive energy into the universe, then you attract back the same. And following that way, you can attract all of your desires into reality. That is basically what manifestation is. And that book talks about it a lot in detail. And it also has a lot of real life example of people who have actually benefited from the secret and the way that that book is structured makes it a very very easy read it is a book that you can easily complete within one day if you are a quick reader it has very properly structured chapters it will tell you what the secret actually is in a very very simplified way and it will also tell you how you can you know implement that secret to achieve your goals and then it has separate chapters that talk about manifesting money then it is manifesting manifesting love, manifesting health, manifesting you, manifesting your life and like everything is separated in different chapters which makes it super super easy to read. It is a very very short book and a very very quick read, easy read so definitely give it a try if you want to dive deeper into the concept of manifestation and it will actually help you change the way you think about your actions so yeah definitely give that a read the third book is this one the power of your subconscious mind by joseph murphy this is one of my favorite books this is kind of similar to the previous book the secret but different in its own ways like both of these books talk majorly about manifesting your uh, dreams into reality but there is a slight difference in the way both of these books ha have been written so this book focuses on the power of positive thinking and how your subconscious mind can be programmed to help you achieve your goals if you're interested in self-growth self-improvement and harnessing the power of your mind then this book is a classic it actually answers a lot of questions that i'm sure all of you must have and it is a super super interesting and easy to read book it is also not that long so again you can complete in a day or two again this one has a lot of real life situations and scenarios which a lot of us can relate to 
and using those situations and scenarios the author has explained the techniques one could use to unlock the power of their subconscious mind now out of the two the secret and the power of subconscious mind i would say go for this book because this book comparatively has a more practical approach that book is more motivational and inspirational whereas this book is more instructional and this will answer all your how to questions so definitely give this one a read now moving on to the fourth book which is of slightly a different genre obviously it will help you in your self growth journey but it talks mainly about finances and money and that is the psychology of money by morgan housel again a very 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 popular book i'm sure everybody must have heard about this book and it is one of the top rated books on amazon as well now it has been about 6 to 7 months that i've started reading finance book because now i believe that managing your finances is not something that comes just naturally to you and reading finance books can be one of the best things that you do to yourself now this wasn't the first book that i read in the category but this was one that stayed by me this is a book that i started reading a couple of months back you must have seen it in my blogs as well but since the very first chapter this book got me hooked it has a saying which says that doing well with money has a little to do with how smart you are and more to do with how well you behave and this entire book will teach you that my mindset that you need to have when it comes to money those little behavioral changes that you need to make in life to manage money better i have never been good with finances and i didn't even know that that's the worst part now this book has 19 short stories exploring the strange ways that people think about money and teaches you how to make sense of one of the most important life's matter so i would say that reading this book would change your perspective mostly about money but also about life in general that is what i felt while reading this book so i would recommend that anyone in their 20s must definitely read this book anyone above or below that also can but if you're in your 20s you must definitely definitely read this book and yeah to sum it up it is one of my favorite books hence in today's video right moving on to the last but definitely not the least the bhagavad gita now i haven't read it completely to be very honest but i started reading it last year i started it in hindi but it just got too difficult for me to read after i ended up reading 10 to 15% but by then i knew that this is something i do not want to miss out on so i started reading it again in english which was a little better for me to read and understand now i know this looks very scary and not going to lie it is not an easy read but it is said to have the answers to all your life questions for a reason i mean it has life lessons from the lord himself and i don't think anything would be better than that right now so far i feel that this book gives you a totally different perspective to life there are books that will answer the questions that you have and then there is this book that will answer the questions you never knew that you have it offers timeless wisdom about topics like duty your action knowledge and the way you live life it definitely can inspire the readers to live a meaningful life attain enlightenment and fulfill their responsibility it definitely is a very challenging but a rewarding read now due to its complexities there can be a lot of different interpretations of the text but you can pick out the one message that resonates with you the most i would suggest you to be mentally prepared before reading this book because it is going to be a journey that you are not prepared for i have paused reading this one for the exact same reason multiple times but somehow i just keep going back to it it will definitely have a lasting impact for sure and it will arise a lot of questions in your mind regarding a lot of things in life in the beginning which can be very very disturbing at first now keeping all of that in mind if you still decide to read then i feel that there is nothing better than bhagavad gita now that's all for today's video tell me in the comment box which are the books that have impacted your life i am always reading and responding to all your comments if you like today's video like share comment and subscribe to the channel i shall see you super super soon in my next video till then stay safe stay healthy bye bye